other one. This is my early present new bleed. It's not new, it's new for me, right? <coughs> bleed 150 S, as you can see from the box over there. this a little bit and then we can get rid of it for now. I want to talk a little bit about the weight <clears throat> because normally it should come these are the technical data again so it should fly with the battery maybe that's too harsh light So it should uh, fly with a uh, 3S battery. Where's <coughs> the battery? Oh, it's here. 3S LiPo battery, which is sticks this one exactly like I have. But because it's a little bit heavier with this plane, it should come together 204 grams. But I try to tame it down 161 empty weight plus the battery 190 grams. So I would try to fly with this battery. That battery is about 40, 45 grams. But this one is 7.4, so 2S, 28 grams. Okay, we don't need that anymore. And I want to tell you that I follow the instruction because I'm not good with flying helicopters I have 450 I'm good but not that good that's for the six I have a DX9 so these are the I followed everything what they say so it's pretty mild total curve is 50 50 55 55 55 it's 100 I exactly follow 25% of this <coughs> yeah let's let's do I have to be honest I didn't do uh, this is not my first flight, so I did about 10, maybe 12 flights altogether. Now, before we go, I just want to record this. What uh, some changes I made. Because uh, in my initial flights, I noticed this thing, interaction, interference thing. Big problem because of the carbon, carbon fiber uh, plate body it was like attached on the side and it was kind of drifting slowly to that side so I I <coughs> took it off and put it kind of in the middle I'm not and I pulled this uh, a little bit uh, speed controller out because it was making kind of now it's nice right it was making kind of strange sound like it said <laughs> now it's good I was uh, just afraid that this small uh, mechanism inside the teeth inside will hit the cables right so I removed it so, so the lights are a little more centered other than that everything is everything is uh, like they say it should other than the, just the weight this is a lot, lot less weight than this bulky battery and it's it flies it's like a lighter it's not so aggressive, just exactly for me to do it in the house. Warning, throttle high. <laughs> hold mode. We're gonna put it in the hold mode. We're gonna put it here when it's nice and flat and do the initialization. See? Let's leave it. Gonna make it sound. Now it's ready. Put the batteries in. Put the cabin. Yeah. It's a little bit tight here. Because I pulled back cables extra.
don't see that well. <laughs> okay, let's try it from here. It's a nose in position. As they recommend, it's always good to fly. I fly in that. <laughs> see, I accidentally I lift it up here, throttle, and it doesn't do anything because I have it on a hold. try to do something because it's going to happen normal and mode. I'm flying in a normal mode <coughs> with the export 25% and let's go Of course, I don't recommend it's uh, 200 grams only, but that blade is gonna hit you in the head anyway, so it's not really good. Time remaining two minutes. Let's uh, let's try to land. It's uh, what I try to do. Why did I choose this particular model? I chose this particular model because uh, I liked uh, I liked how it looked. I liked the the weight. It wasn't too expensive, and I like 200 grams because it's below 250 what uh, they allow by law. Here, my information justified. Lose it. <laughs> 
Oh, you didn't see. I wasn't sharp enough. That's my email address. Anyway. And, uh, yeah, I guess we can just actually maybe try it just to show how it works. Because now we don't have it. We can click with the side click. Ah. Right. Left. See? Because the, the, the main motor doesn't work. See? But the tail is still compensating for the... <laughs> I didn't know that. Now I find out that. And the cyclic is working perfectly. Straight up and down, right? Okay. Now we can safely unhook it. Normal mode. Hold mode. Okay. And I'm, I'm really happy with the look how it looks like, right? I did uh, put some oil, like oh, oil I had before. And uh, yeah, this is special oil I was using for my T Rex 450, uh, the bigger version of this. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice because you can pinpoint, you can just use it, it's not spray. And you can just add a little bit if you need, just a little bit here, tiny drop here, maybe here. So it's really loose and makes it makes it really nice, <coughs> oily and smooth. It's not recommended that you add too much oil because if you do that, then uh, then uh, that's loose enough. And you're gonna attract a lot of dust, and the dust combined with the oil, it's it's not very good. I love it. I love it. I only have it for two days. I bought it like two days ago, and I love it. I love how it's smooth. How it's smooth flies really nice. I didn't try idle uh, two and three. I mean uh, the mode because a higher speed and the higher head speed, it's gonna be outside when I try my 3D eventually, but for now I'm just happy how it uh, performs. Eventually, if I don't have any problems with this, that's okay, eventually I might take this apart and put the aluminum piece like left and right and get rid of this guy here, because I, I think that's the just because of the carbon fiber or probably closeness because of the closeness of the motor and uh, <coughs> Speed controller. Antenna is here. Hello, how it looks and how it flies. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.